What's going on guys? So before today's video begins, we finally got you guys some merch. So we're just doing a quick merch drop. We got the Let Dirt Fly logo that Seth is rocking right now. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it's focusing enough. We got, for our Can-Am ladies and gent out there, we have the Don't Follow Me, You Won't Make It shirt, as well as one for all the axle snappers out there, such as Seth. Yes, this goes me. in memory of all the Axel's lives that we have taken in the mud and stumps and all kinds of other stuff. Yes. So it says, something had to give. So um, there's going to be two more designs also. I'm going to post them right here. We got one for the CF, the underdog. The underdog. That's what we're kind of naming that quad. And then we also got one for the players so that says, don't follow me. I do stupid sh**. Yeah, except we'll bleep that part out. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so go on over to our Teespring right now. Um, links down in the description. Go grab you something. And then right now we're going to get into today's video. Welcome back to the Let Dirt Fly YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Copeland Switchblade Plow. This is a universal mount plow, so it's not specific to any quad. I picked this up for uh, $289. It took me about an hour to put it together. Comes in a flat box, so there's really, you know, you have to put every piece together. It wasn't very hard, um, didn't take a lot of tools either. So a uh, couple things that you should know about this is the plow itself is stamped steel. It weighs about 114 pounds. It is adjustable from 48 to 60 inches. Um, very easy to change positions on the plow. Uh, hooks up to the winch. It comes with everything except for the winch. Um, they go through you know they tell you all that kind of stuff when you're looking at it i will put the link to the place where i bought it for 289 dollars down in the description this plow is going for anywhere from 289 which is the cheapest i found it up to like 400 and change so we're going to review this bad boy we're going to push some snow and uh stick around All right guys, so I will be plowing with my uh, 2018 Sportsman 450, my wife's quad. So uh, basically, we're looking to get anywhere between, sounds like 12 and 24 inches of snow. And so I'm gonna do this in sections. So really easy maneuver. Uh, Let's see what happens. Just me and the uh, big plow truck out here right now. So this machine is pushing. Now this is five inches. This is uh, a drier snow right now. So that definitely helps.
So basically I want to push this snow deep so that as it continues to snow, I don't struggle as much to uh, be able to move mounds. Let's see how she uh, she does with this big mound here. trying to take all my grass. will say this, this used to take me about 45 minutes to an hour to actually snow blow it, a uh, hell of a lot longer to shovel it, and it's been what, like 15 minutes, and I'm done, uh, done plowing it, that's pretty amazing. Of course, I got a car coming. Like that. Thanks, brother. And 
just like that, baby. Sounds like lunch is ready. Perfect timing. Okay, guys. So let's go with a final review of what we experienced here with the Culpin switchblade uh, plow. Um, we had 25 inches of snow. So I ended up plowing about five times. Didn't show all the footage. No need for that. Uh, review is it did fantastic. Um, definitely recommend it as of right now as a budget plow I mean I believe I got this plow for two hundred and eighty nine dollars with free shipping so for three hundred dollars I got the plow and it seems to work great um, the other side of this is the 450 sportsman wasn't sure how this thing was gonna plow didn't know if I was gonna end up having to move this over to the 570 uh, the 450 did fantastic I mean we made some really big piles and it was able to push all this snow i mean did a really good job so final thoughts is for a budget plow three hundred dollars i believe that this plow is completely worth it versus the thousand dollars that you would get for say a polaris plow something like that so in conclusion i give it a thumbs up give me your thoughts what do you think do you have one you know do you think it's a good price? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, don't forget to check us out on TikTok, Let Dirt Fly, Instagram, also Facebook. Um, all at Let Dirt Fly, you can catch, uh, you know, early shots of videos coming out. You know, watch us uh, do a little filming while we're out there riding. So, we appreciate it. Thank you. Have you forgotten when